The Trade Union Congress, the TUC, has decried increasing spate of insecurity nationwide. Chairman of TUC Kaduna State, Comrade Abdullahi Damfulani, described insecurity and hunger as major challenges confronting Nigerian workers. On steps taken to cushion the economic realities of its and its members, he said that they sought funds from the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, FMBN, to help in securing housing to the tune of 2 billion naira. He also listed other interventions to include the Central Bank of Nigeria Anka Borrower Program for its members to access soft loans for small-scale businesses. Well, we are now being joined by Christiana John Bauer, Secretary, Kaduna State Council, Nigeria Labour Congress. Good evening, Christiana Good evening. Bauer. Good evening. Happy Workers' Day to you. Same to you. Well, workers have trooped out to mark the yearly May Day. Can you say there is really a need to celebrate? Yes, there is need to celebrate. The need for this celebration is very, very important. Considering our founding fathers that gave their lives in the course of this Workers' Day, the cause of the injustice, and they were the ones that fought for these working hours, eight hours uh, leave and the uh, public holiday. Uh, we have a lot to celebrate. We celebrate because we thank God we are alive. Despite the insecurity, despite the insensitivity of the government, we are still alive. Well, we hear so we about... have reasons to celebrate. Right. We hear about the delay in salary payment, especially for school teachers and health workers. Can you tell us how long this has been and what has been done um, as a survival strategy? Honestly, the delay in the payment of salaries of the local government workers, the primary school teachers, and the primary health care agency workers, that's the health workers, mm -hmm. is very disturbing. As I speak with you, it was just last week, Friday, that they were able to get their March salary. While others are getting April salary, they are getting March salary. That delay is not healthy. That delay is not good for our democracy because it's the same fund allocation that share allocation for state and for local government. For the delay, I want to say it's a man-made and we are not happy over it. You are not happy over it, you say. Well, generally, the NLC is perceived as being a toothless dog, as there are many labor crises in the country begging for attention, and all we hear from the Labor Congress is threats of strike. How do you respond to that? Well, I don't want to agree with that assertion that NLC is a toothless dog that can only bark and they cannot bite. And let me give you the scenario here in Kaduna. You will recall that last year we went on a warning strike which lasted for three days. By the intervention of the Minister for Labor, we suspended the strike and we were invited in Abuja. A tripartite committee was put in place. We worked for five days in a week, and after three months, there was no report. Simply because the government side refused to sign the report on ground that we have to agree that they have employed 42,000 workers despite the disengagement. And we said, no, it wasn't time of our agreement. It was not even why we went for the meeting. So we can include it in the agreement, and that is why the agreement was not signed. So people will think we were not being, we didn't do anything. We have done a lot. So when the result is not out yet, people will not even know we have done something. The aftermath of that meeting and that strike has made our workers that we are retrenched 
those that retire, we are being paid their allowances. That is the gratuity that they have not been paid. And that is ongoing, even though we are not happy with the way it is going, but at least they are paying the pensioners. Some of them, they are gratuity, batch by batch. Okay. Um, the 2000, 2023 general elections is just around the corner. Very crucial in the history of this country. Is the NLC doing anything towards mobilizing and sensitizing workers to prepare and actively participate in this election? Yes, we are doing a whole lot. Because at the national level, a committee has been put in place, political committee, to engage all the aspirants at the national level. And each state, we are asked to set up that committee, which we did. Last week, they were invited in Abuja for a committee, for a meeting, an inauguration. We have a charter of demand by the national. And those charter of demand will be brought down to the state and to the local government level. For us to engage all aspirants, we will not allow people to get to office to decide whether we should be paid salary or not. Also, has been on strike. Nobody is saying anything. So we want to engage those aspirants. If we give you our vote, what will you do for the working people? What will you do for the community? The insecurity in Kaduna here, we have 36 workers that were killed by this bandit. Should we allow it to continue? Should we allow the governors that are not paying workers' salaries to still go back into office? Should we allow those who have not implemented minimum wage to still go back into office? The 30 minimum wage is no longer obtainable considering the extent of dollar. 30,000, a bag of rice now is 35. So the salary can only buy a bag of rice. So we need to engage the, 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 the aspirants. And we are, being, we are sensitizing our members to join the politics. Let them buy for office. They let some of them that cannot buy for office, let them join political parties. So the day will, our voices will be heard. All right. So that whoever is coming will know that we work for him to come. And we have an agreement, we have an understanding with him. This is what he will do when he is voted out. In Kaduna, in 1999, when Makaso was coming in, on board, we had an understanding with him that when he comes on board, those workers that Hamid Ali is engaged, he will reinstate them. What he did. So this is what we want to do. We will not keep quiet. We will not watch again. We will not sit on the fence. All right. What, what... We want to be involved to see who govern us to come 2023. Very critical. Now let's move over to the ASU strike. What is the position of labor? Is labor doing anything, saying anything uh, regarding this strike? Well, you, it is no longer news that at the national level, a notice has been given for us to go on solidarity strike because of ASU. If you look at what ASU are asking for, it's the implementation of agreement of 2009, which is not too good. An agreement entered, not under duress, and yet in 2009, that agreement has not been implemented. There's something is wrong with this country. We, we don't, I don't want to say it is APC issue because it started even from the PDP. So we don't even have government. The government are not, they are insensitive to the plight of the, of the ASU because their children are not in government university. Their children are in, in, in private university. Most of them are in abroad. So when is this? So that's why they are strike. insensitive. So when we are waiting for national. To give us direct, so when they give us direct, we are going into the solidarity side in full brown. Well, Christiana John Bauer, many thanks for your time.
please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.